Entangling email jargon, CC and BCC unpacked. Hello learners. Today, we're going to delve into a crucial aspect of email writing, understanding the usage of CC and BCC. These might sound like complex jargon, but trust me, they're simple concepts once you understand them. So, let's jump right in and start unraveling these terms. CC stands for carbon copy. When you add someone's email address in the CC field, it means that you want them to see the email, but they aren't directly involved. It's akin to saying, this conversation might interest you. Everyone can see who else received the email because their addresses are displayed. Next up, BCC. It stands for blind carbon copy. Like CC, when you put someone's email in the BCC field, they receive the email. However, their email address remains hidden from other recipients. So, you're essentially saying, this information might be useful to you, but I'd rather keep your participation secret. Now, for the crux of the matter, the difference between CC and BCC. The difference lies mainly in the visibility of the recipients. In the case of CC, all recipients are visible to one another. On the other hand, with BCC, recipients can't see who else has received the email. It's a subtle but significant difference that can have substantial implications for communication etiquette and privacy. There you have it, friends. You've learned about CC and BCC and how to use them in email writing. Remember, these are not just acronyms but powerful tools in digital communication. Knowing how to use them correctly can help you communicate more effectively and respectfully. Keep practicing, and I hope you'll find this knowledge helpful in your future email communications. Until next time, keep learning.